the actual exercise that I want to give you to find out what you're telling yourself, listening to that negative self-talk, and then being able to reframe it and change it and listen to something completely different. So the exercise we're going to perform and this is a part of the MindStrong program. So if you do have a MindStrong journal on you, you'll find this in the journal. And this is an exercise that you'll be able to perform. If you don't have one, then you can find one over on the website. But if not, then just grab your journal. And I hope you've got a journal of some form and perhaps a pen and paper. And what you're going to do is on one piece of paper, you're going to write for five minutes only. This is the max you're allowed for this exercise. No more and five minutes, cap it at five minutes. You are going to write about yourself as if you are your biggest critic, your inner critic. You're going to really write out all of these words and phrases that you're perhaps perpetuating in your mind and you're telling yourself over and over again. And this is where you're gonna put it all down on paper. And it can be quite an emotional exercise. You can start to bring up some emotion but I encourage you to just keep with it, stay with it, be honest with yourself, write down as much as you can and try to write it in the third person. So as if someone is talking about you in third person and just criticizing everything about you. Once you've written that down and you've got it and it is a pretty gnarly exercise, you're going to have this script that you've written down and you can write it as a story. You can do whatever in whatever form. It could be bullet points in any way, shape or form you wanna do it. You're just trying to get that information down. You're going to look at it and then you'll start to realize how crazy that voice is, how crazy some of these words and phrases and things that you're telling yourself are. And you'll also notice how untrue they perhaps are, how unkind they are. Would you even tell these to one of your best friends? So why are we telling them to ourselves? But the point of this exercise is by bringing it out onto paper, we make it real. Most of the time, we will tell ourselves these phrases, these doubts, these storylines, and we won't actually recognize them because we internalize them only. We then run away with the storyline even further. We take it maybe six chapters further, and we don't actually realize how ridiculous some of these stories are and how untrue they are. But when we put them out on paper, we see them for truly what they are, just words and phrases and thoughts and they're not actually who we are nor who they we want to be so it's really worthwhile just putting down all of these thoughts all of these phrases and 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 what critiques of yourself and putting them there so you can see them once and for all mm -hmm.